Yeah, directors usually have a vision that they want to have done. And, you know, we have our set skills. So usually the stunt coordinator is kind of the go-between. He's usually the one that, um, if he's a really good, first of all, he's going to try to get exactly what the director wants to see. If not, you know, obviously tweak it to where it's possible. And then, um, and then he talks to you and what your abilities are. And sometimes there's tons of prep work, you know, we're prepping a car to go off a jump and float and go in the water, or they, they help get things built that you need as a prop, you know? So, um, they're the ones that are trying to make it safe for you. Like that in that card that you showed me, um, I, you know, as I'm climbing up, obviously I'm not climbing a girder with six inch heels. <laughs> so they had me in a cable. Well, I wanted to make sure it was safe. I said, well, do you see the ground in this scene? No, I said, I want a crash pad in there because if something goes wrong with the cable, I'm going to fall to the ground in six inch heels. I don't want to bust my ankles. So if you don't see the floor, I want to, I want a pad down there just in case. And um, I've seen a lot of people when things just like, oh, someone didn't do something right and you get hurt. So I'm always trying to watch my back because you want, the goal is to keep on working and to do as many jobs as possible. And, and always, you know, you don't always want to just be tough and ah, I'm a stunt person, I can do this. I'm like, no, I'll, I don't want to get injured. If I can do as much as possible, that's the goal.